This video is going to be a lot shorter than I originally had planned. Um, you can probably tell that everything's walled up on either side of me. This area, when I was here a few months ago, um, all of this wasn't here. Like, you could get into all these buildings, and there was actually uh, a Yokocho uh, drinking alley right here. Let me see if I can show you on camera. But it used to be right there, and it was a really neat spot. And 
everything's walled up now. This is my first time back in maybe three or four months and it's kind of shocking. So there's a couple other places I wanted to check out tonight, but it looks like all of it's just completely walled up and getting prepped for demolition. So I'll show you guys around just so you guys can see what I mean. As you can see, pretty much everything's walled off. <laughs> it really wasn't that long ago since I was last here and all of this was open. But, you know, I can't access any of them. Basically, this is it, or on the other side of those buildings. I don't know if you can really see it from here, but basically where this wall is, where all the buildings are on the other side, there was this really cool, you know, small little alley that you could go. And they had some really wild, like, izakayas and bars. Uh, if I have any pictures, I'll put them up on screen just so you can get an idea, but yeah, can't access it anymore. And this will probably all be demolished within the next few months. It's a real shame. more stuff over here if you see over the, if you look over the walls you can see some of the signs in the store front awnings and uh, even just looking at the top you can see just how much character so many of these buildings have but yeah they're not gonna be around much longer it's a real shame I mean you know be curious to know what the residents think they might even be happy to be rid of it all. And even over here, they've got some barriers up, so. I don't know, it just seems like they're systematically, you know, block to block, they're just slowly wiping out all these old buildings. When I was here last time, all of this was accessible, but not anymore. Coming up over here, there's, there was a path where you could get to the old Yokocho I was talking about at the beginning of video. Jeez, um, that train's loud. So it's not fully closed off. Um, so this would, if you go down this and take a left, it would take you to that old, uh, you know, drinking alley that uh, I found the last time I was here. I'll put up a picture if I have something to show, but um, yeah, it's all walled off on either side. I mean, if you wanted to, you could go over that easily, but it says Tachiri Kinshi, no entry, so I'm not going to. So I think I'm gonna end my walk around here because there's, <laughs> there's, there's not a lot to see. Um, there's so many things that I was hoping to check out at night because I've only been here during the day and it's all just, you know, walled up and inaccessible. So, that's a real shame. Um, I was really curious to see how it would be different at night, but now I'm never going to see it. And I guess that just kind of goes to show how ephemeral everything is. You know, things that we take for granted, they don't last forever. And so it's important to document and take photos, you know, capture them while they're still there. Fortunately, the shopping arcade that I walked through last time is still here, albeit with only a few shops. So, you know, I'll show 
the few photos that I captured while I was here tonight, and I did walk around a little bit, but yeah, there's just so much of what made this place interesting is getting demolished. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll wrap up here.